right. So, um, you know, Pari had a very powerful presentation. Um, so I, I'm Octavian Tanase. I'm uh, one of the engineering leaders at, um, at a company called NetApp. We are a data management, a data storage, a data protection company. And I work at a company that is being disrupted by many of the trends that Pari has talked about. I'm also at a company that is looking to disrupt itself and embrace that change. And no trend is probably more important and, and more influential than what is happening in the area of software-defined infrastructure, software-defined networking, software-defined you know, compute, software-defined storage. So what are some of the, the challenges? What are some of the disruptions that, um, you know, that are happening? In the networking area, you have a migration toward internet, ethernet. You have a migration towards virtualized. In compute, virtualization has been there for a while. Similarly, in the area of storage, there is a distinct trend towards em embracing software-defined you know, storage. So what are some of the challenges that enterprises deal with, and you know, what, what is the formula that both a vendor, an integrator, and a consumer of IT you know, should use to deal with this disruption, embrace this, and, and transform that into an opportunity? So a lot of the times in the enterprise, what, what is happening, you're having to deal with fewer resources, yet more projects. And also with a workforce that in many cases, because the, the stretch that it's happening and the growth in the industry is not as well trained as it's been in the, in the past. So how, you, how can you, you know, operate with more predictability? How can you be more, more agile? How can you do more with, with less? So a lot of some of the examples that I'm going to be used are, are coming from the storage um, you know, sphere, just because that's a realm that I'm operating in there. But in many cases, it's applicable to compute. It's applicable um, to, um, to networking. It's applicable in, um, in some of the third platform areas that are emerging right now to solve the, uh, the IT challenges of, of the 21st century. So you're looking, f you're looking at smaller budgets. Yet you're looking at, uh, at, at cloud as a big disruptor that is providing flexibility, is providing el el elasticity, is providing services that you haven't had you know, at, at your fingertips in, in the past. The growth there is also tremendous. You have companies like Microsoft that are investing $700 million every single you know, quarter. That's a tremendous amount of, of investment in innovation that, that it's, it, it, it's happening, that it's looking to take advantage of this trend. In the area of, of storage, you have a, a technology like Flash that has revolutionized the way we, we think of storage. Initially, you know, folks looked at performance, looked at low latencies. Over time, people look at opportunity to consolidate data centers. The power requirement, the cooling requirement, of, of, um, of flash are so different from, from traditional you know, storage devices. So people had vision, people embraced a technology because they saw beyond the immediate promise. So many companies need help to transform. We have our own you know, perspective in, uh, in terms of the trends and you know, how, to, how to deal with this disruption and how to, to embrace the opportunity. So first of all, hybrid cloud. Hybrid cloud is a concept where you know, many of the customers are gonna operate in two worlds, with their data in their own data center, with their data in, in the cloud. And they will, need, um, they will need tools, they will need services, they, they will need uh, the ability to deal with data governance, with data mobility. They will also need to be able to integrate their current you know, solutions, their many applications in, in an ecosystem. They will look for a, a software-defined, a, a solution that you know, can be at, at their fingertips and not be tied up into, um, into the infrastructure, into the um, immutability of an, of an enterprise. So why change? The reality is that the next generation data center will, um, will have several components that you're, many of you are familiar with. Cloud will be part of that um, data center. 
Open source will be part of that data center. Software defined of different types will be part of there. A lot of the folks that are um, developers, you know, and, and uh, you know, come from, from universities are looking to use new frameworks and, and languages. The next generation data center, it's agile, it's scalable, it's automated, it's, it's predictable in a way where a lot of what you put in that data center can be leveraged for analytics. You're looking to take your, your data and transform that from a, a liability into an asset. So that is the, the, the challenge. That, you know, th that's what we're trying to do as a vendor. That's what you as, as consumer of IT are very likely to want to do. So what is the, the actual opportunity you know, for, for software-defined infrastructure? It's helping you accelerate the innovation. It's helping you simplify. It's, it's, it's helping you um, have to manage, deploy, refresh, and, and retire fewer assets. It's enabling you to pick, to pick best of breed solutions. And in many cases, right, you, you see folks ad adopting open source, adopting standards. Why? Because they want to focus on their core technology, they want to focus on their core IT, and they want to leverage as much as possible. So what are some of the benefits? Future proofing, it's probably the most important one. It's providing a web scale architecture. It's again, providing the simplicity, especially if you are comfortable with managing your own supply chain. So how about India? You heard from, from Pari of the, the, the opportunity and, and the growth that is happening in, uh, in, in um, emerging economies, especially in India and, and, and China. So there is opportunity, again, both for service providers, there is opportunity for startups. There are different challenges that they need to, to embrace. Probably one of the most interesting uh, you know, challenges that people have to, uh, to deal with has to do with simplicity. There is a new bar that is being set, a new, a new demand from our, um, from our customers around simplicity. Why is that? Again, it goes back to one of the challenges that, that companies have. A lot of the workforce, it's not as well trained. The, the, you know, the, uh, the whole realm, it's so diverse, it's so tremendous that you, know, you don't have the ability to be specialized in, in so many areas. Okay? Startups have opportunities to drive innovation. They have opportunities to differentiate. In turn, these startups are embracing cloud, are embracing software defined. Think about it for a second. Let's say you're starting a company. Will you have the, the assets, the funding to start a new data center? In many cases, not. You don't know really if you're gonna be successful or not. So what you want is to use a software defined solution. What you want is likely to use software as a service. What you want to use is take advantage of some of the tools, some of the framework, some of the infrastructure that a company like Amazon or Microsoft or Google or some of the local service providers have has, has put in place. You want to get started. You want to leverage and focus on your core technology, on, on your core, core uh, you know, innovation. So many of you guys in, in this room are, are vendors, creators of, of technology. Others are consumers, right? You're IT managers, IT directors, um, and, and you're looking to, to take advantage of, of, uh, of technology, of new trends. Others are integrators. And if you're an integrator, you're more likely a consumer of, of, of IT. So for, if you're a vendor, if you're you know, from Cisco or, or HP or you know, my company, NetApp, or, or, or many others, what you need to do is enable you know, faster, mobile, global, social, digital of everything. You want to reduce complexity. You want to engage you know, customers. You want to differentiate. You want to enable you know, improvement in, uh, in business operations. You want to be able to provide both global and local solutions. 
So let's take the, the example of, of NetApp and, and um, what we're doing, right? We, I talked earlier about disrupting ourselves. So for many years, we built um, engineered appliances, uh, engineered appliances running a, an operating system called Data on Tap. Data on Tap, it's a Unix-like operating system optimized for storage. More than 24 years of innovation there, you know, very successful, multi-billion dollar company, um, large R&D center in, in, in India here. Uh, I've been with the company six years. I've been here 20 times already. I'm originally from Romania. I've been in, I've been in the US for 26 years. I've been six times back home. I've been 20 times to India. That you know, gives you a sense a little bit of you know, you know, not only my personal priority, but the fact that this is where the business is done. Right? So data on tap, you know, a um, lot of pedigree of you know, innovation has embraced the software-defined challenge. But not only that, everything that we do at, at NetApp basically right now comes in three form factors. You're going to deliver something on an engineered appliance. You're going to deliver something that can run in a virtual environment on a generic server. You're also going to deliver something that runs in, in, into the cloud. And that is the new standard. So you may come and say, aren't you crazy? You know, are you disrupting your appliance business? The answer is yes. But if we don't do it, somebody else will. Right? So again, we're looking to enable people to use that innovation, to, you know, to simplify their deployments, to look and leverage our innovation on, on hardware and assets that they already have defined and deployed in, in their data centers. We're also looking to enable them to deploy them in the cloud, simple, with a new business model, a consumption business model. All right, so what if you are um, a, a consumer of IT? For you, the challenge is different. Um, it's uncomfortable. There are, you know, uh, there's a lot of novelty in the technology. There is risk. There is not a lot of um, integration that exists, you know, so what are you going to do? So I, I, the title of this, uh, this slide, it's, it's Hello World, and, and many of you guys have started as, engineer, as engineers, right? So whatever language you learned, whatever framework you learned, the first thing that you wrote is a Hello World, right? You, you know, in many languages, it was, you know, just writing a printf or, or system.out type of program. And it's the same type of approach that, that you, 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 know, you have to take with, with software defined, right? There is no going back. I think Pari made a, a tremendous case you know, for change and, and the fact that that disruption you know, has to be embraced. So if you want to you know, innovate uh, with, with more speed you know, for, for, your, you know, uh, for your customers, you want to drive growth and enable your, your businesses to, take, to, to derive more value out of the infrastructure that you build, you want to reduce costs, you have to, to embrace the change. So my ask, my, uh, my plea to you is look to control your own destiny, whether you're a consumer, whether, the, whether you're a creator, write, deploy, experiment you know, with the cloud, experiment with, with open source techno technologies, choose vendors that are open to change. Choose vendors and partners that are willing to take you in, into the journey that can help you future-proof your investments. Learn what are some of the, the, the challenges that you may run into. Contribute back. Create partnerships with folks that you know, have similar problems, solve similar problems as, as yours. So, in, in a nutshell, software-defined infrastructure, it's a trend that will affect all of us, whether we're vendors, integrators, consumers of, of IT, the opportunity is to, to make that transition now, anticipate some of the, the, the changes, deal with them, you know. Um, there is a expression in, uh, in, in management which, you know, goes like, there shouldn't be any clean jerseys, right? If, you're, if you like sports and, um, you know, many of you guys are, are cricket fans or, or soccer or, um, 
well, you know, if you're from the U.S., you probably love football. You know, anybody who gets engaged never has a clean jersey. That is the attitude that one, um, that one has to exhibit. So, um, who are we? We are NetApp. We are the world's steward for the data in the enterprise. We protect and manage you know, the world's data. I'm very grateful for the invitation and the opportunity to speak to you today. Have a good conference. Thank you. Mm -hmm.